If I ask you, what are the techniques used uh, to to know or tracing when we feed the plant with any precursor that it will end up with this compound? How we be sure about the biosynthetic pathway? You will answer by we have different techniques. For example, radioactive compounds, which is the most important uh, uh, part, or uh, with the help of the NMR and so on. That's all. The name is, is the most important things. Your colleague Yusuf asked about the handout, the handout related to the lecture of yesterday to understand the biosynthetic pathway, Asara, and I'm answering him that what we need to know the, the name of the techniques and not the details of the technique. Clear, Yusuf? This is the important thing. Uh, yes, uh, thank you okay. very much, Doctor. Okay. Uh, okay, uh, I hope that. Good, good, Yusuf. Thank you for your question. This means that you are uh, following uh, me and I will uh, give a brief of uh, this uh, also uh, uh, today uh, because today we will start with the uh, first uh, uh, pathway that we we'll cover in this uh, course, which is the uh, mevalonate uh, uh, pathway. As I told you yesterday that the other topics, the other pathways, the first two pathways, I mean the acetate and the uh, shikimate has been covered in the uh, pharmacology, biochemistry and in the uh, phyto one. And now let us start with the third bath pathway, which is uh, very important and it is responsible uh, for the uh, production of two groups of uh, secondary metabolites. Terbenes and the uh, steroids, and this is is the mevalonate pathway. I told you yesterday that the mevalonate acid per se uh, came from the acetate pathway, three unit of the uh, acetate, six carbons attached together to give us the mevalonic uh, acid. Now the mevalonic acid start to be biosynthetic pathway for these important group of compounds, uh, which we call them the terpenes and the steroid, as we will see them uh, now. Let us start with the first uh, part, the uh, terpenes. All of them terpenes, even the steroids, are classified as terpenes. In some references, in some cases, uh, we call them terpenoids. terpenoids. So either we call them terpenes or terpenoids. Strictly, terpenoids means terpenes which containing oxygen. But practically, the two words are used interchangeably. So in some cases, you will find the title terpenes. In some cases, you will find the title terpenoids. In some cases, you will find the title terpenes and terpenoids. So let us go by this way, that both of them are the same. So terpenes or uh, terpenoids. But if we want to go to the uh, uh, science, the pure science, no, the terpenoids are terpenes with oxygen, oxygenated terpenes. But as I told you, uh, usually both of the words are used uh, together. Now, the plant containing the pathway. Don't forget the three different conditions that I told you yesterday. Pathway, building a block and specific enzyme. The plant containing the mevalonate pathway, so it is able to biosynthesize all the compounds which came from this pathway, I mean the uh, terpenes and the uh, steroids and terpenoids. Now the plant will move to the second step, the building block, the building block. Let us see the building block for the biosynthesis of uh, the uh, Terpenes in uh, general, and this uh, building block is called the isoprene unit. The isoprene unit. This is the isoprene unit. Again, the isoprene unit comes from the mevalonic acid. Don't forget that the mevalonic acid 
is six carbons. Decarboxylation by the decarboxylase enzyme, lost one carbon, will give us the isoprene unit. This is the isoprene unit. One, two, three, four, five. This is the main building block which is utilized from the plant for the biosynthesis of all types of terpenes. خلاص, that's all. End of the uh, story. So this is the building block. What I mean by building block? I mean by building block, this is one block. Bring other unit of isoprene, two units, three, four, five, six, 100, 1000, as you like. As you like, as we will see later on. So again, the plant utilize this isoprene unit as building a block for the biosynthesis of uh, different uh, types of uh, these uh, terpenes. Look at this example here. This consists of two units of isoprene, and we can follow them. One, two, three, four, five. This is one. One, two, three, four, five. These are two units of uh, isoprene with which usually are attached together. Third one, fourth one, and so forth. So this is, is called building a uh, block, building a uh, block. <coughs> usually, as you see here, I wrote the isoprene unit without double bonds. Here, with double bonds. The question, keep this in mind, of double bond or functioning group is a late stage, which usually the plant do it utilizing specific enzymes, specific enzymes. Who determine this? The plant. The nature of the enzyme which is present. So it is true, either, and depending on the need of the plant, to, to have to find or to write the isoprene sometimes with the double bond and sometimes with the without the double bond. So for the time being, ignore the uh, double uh, bond. So this is the isoprene uh, unit. As I told you, again, I repeat, came from the bivalent acid by decarboxylation. The plant brought two units of this isoprene attached together, C5. Two units, five multiplied by two, ten carbons. Now, this is a uh, compound. If you look at this compound as such, you will find it that it is complex, complicated. But if you understand the structure from where it uh, came uh, from biosynthetic path of, uh, pathway, you will see that uh, it is uh, easy and uh, so forth. In general, in general, the uh, two units, the two units of the isoprene of the isoprene are attached by this way. This is isoprene unit. Okay, this is the isoprene unit. Usually, in order to make it easy for you to understand it, look at this here. At this part, as we write, as I write it here, okay, this is similar to the fish tail. So because of this, this part usually we called it tail, and this is we called it what head. Okay, this is a way to help you just. So this is what tail, and this is head. So for the two isoprene, isoprene units to be attached together, they must be attached head to tail or tail to head, but not tail to tail or head to head. Again, I repeat. Usually, the two isoprene units, the main building block for the biosynthesis of different types of the are attached head 
to tail or tail to head as you like, but not head to head or what? Tail to head. Look, for example, this is again the example on the previous page. This is what? Tail, okay? Tail, fish tail. Del samaki, but tell you this is head. Essentially, what well, this is what? The tail. Look, head to tail. Here, what this is, head. For the neighboring one, must be what? Tail. This is head, tail, and so forth. So usually, usually the uh, two units of the isoprene must attack by uh, this way uh, always, unless I'm telling you vice versa. Okay, but generally, the two units of the isoprene units are attached uh, head to tail or tail to head, but not tail to tail, not head uh, to head. How many units of these isoprene uh, units will be attached? And this, what is the result of this? The result of how many units of the uh, isoprene will be attached together will give us the different types of terpenes or terpenoids. So the subclasses, the subclass of the terpenes and the terpenoids depend on how many units of isoprene will be attached. If two units of the isoprene attached together, always head to tail, huh? or tail to head, as I told you before, two isoprene units means that the number of the carbon is what? 10, check, two multiplied by five, 10. This, the simplest group is called monoterpene. So the first class of the terpenes is called monoterpene. Monoterpene consists of two units of the isoprene, which means that these are 10 carbons, 10 carbons. Three units of isoprene, 15 carbons, usually are called sesquiterpene. In Latin, sesqui means 15. From here, the name came, sesquiterpene. So, monoterpene, two isoprene units, 10 carbons, sesquiterpenes, three isoprene units, 15 carbons, diterpenes, four isoprene units, 20 carbons, cisterpenes, five units, and this is not uh, important because in nature we haven't cisterpene. Don't ask why. The plant, we have no plant which biosynthesize cisterpene. Triterpenes, six isoprene units, 30 carbons. Look, we have in seven. Huh? Again, don't ask why. Don't ask me why. We have no plant over the earth which make a terpene consist of seven isoprene units. So we will go directly from six, triterpene to eight, what we called tetraterpenes, 40 carbons, eight units. More than 100 isoprene units or more than 1,000 carbon, this is usually we call them polyterpene. Uh, we call them uh, poly. Uh, therapy. So these are the subclasses of the uh, terpenes. Again, I repeat, two units of isoprene, we call them monoterpenes, three sesquiterpenes, four diterpenes, six triterpenes, eight isoprene units, tetraterpenes, more than 100 maybe 1,000, these are called polyterpenes. Uh, Any one of you 
Now, hearing me, he imagined that I'm talking about something which is not belong to you. That you never deal with these monitor beans. What is this squitter bean, doctor, and triter bean, tetrater bean? Now, after two minutes, you will realize that every day, every moment, and now, at, at this time, I'm talking with you, you are dealing with one or more of these compounds. So relax. The first two, the monoterbenes and cisquiterbenes, okay, together, we call them volatile oils. Volatile oils are secondary metabolites which are responsible for the odor of the plant. And they are so cold because they are evaporate at room temperature. Where we have volatile oils. Open the cabinet kitchen of your mom. All the plants, <coughs> chamomile, salvia, thyme, rose, the perfume that you use, all of these are belong to this group of secondary metabolites. They containing volatile oils. And the volatile oils are either monoterpenes or sesquiterpenes. You may teach about zatar or nana or babonage or tetatar, stagnum splash or deodorant, and so forth. All of these containing what? Volatile oils. Make a comparison, simple comparison between the coffee and the tea. The, the coffee has odor, the tea has zinc. Why? Simply, the coffee contains volatile oil, the tea doesn't. What else? The, tea, the coffee has the mevalonic acid pathway, the tea not. The coffee can biosynthesize as a brain unit, the tea no, and so forth. Clear? So, the first two, monoterpenes and cisquiterpenes, are responsible for any other plant over the earth. Any plant, plant that you smell, this means that this is, is the responsibility of the volatile oils. What are volatile oils? By definition, anything? Secondary metabolites, either monoterpenes or cisquiterpenes. Excellent, good. Full mark. Clear? So every day we are dealing with the monoterpenes and cisquiterpenes. Most of the anti cancer drugs, which are from natural sources, and these are valuable, huh? we are talking about vincristine, vinblastine, we are talking about. Uh, uh, taxol, a major one, a taxol is a diterpene, a diterpene. All the sex hormones in your body, all the steroids, starting from the cholesterol, bile acid, sex hormones, uh, all the steroids in, uh, in animals and in uh, fungi, all of them belong to the triterpenes, to the triterpenes. And maybe the most important group of the terpenes is this one, triterpenes, because at the same time <coughs> it is uh, biosynthesized in animal and plant uh, body by similar uh, mecha mechanism, while the others are only biosynthesized in uh, plants. Any one of you have a carrot or tomato near him, the coloration of these plants is the responsibility of tetraterpenes. This is the tetraterpenes. The color, carrot, tomato, this color, beautiful color of the tomato, the beautiful color of the uh, carrot, it is what? Tetraterpenes. And I say, gloves, what are the gloves? Rubbers. <coughs> What is rubber? Polyterpene. Okay, all the gloves that we use, okay, the rubber 
uh, glove came from a rubber plant, okay, mainly from Indonesia and Malaysia, okay, and these are polyterpenes, more than 100, 1,000, 10,000 units of isoprene attached together to give us the uh, rubbers, which is belong to the polyterpenes. So as you see, the terpenes is around us everywhere, and we deal with them uh, on daily basis because these compounds are very uh, important. Yes, maybe this is the first time that we know their classification and from where uh, they came, but now I hope that you understand that we are dealing with uh, secondary uh, metabolites, which are uh, very important in our uh, life, in our uh, life. So the plant, the plant, let us see how the plant starts the uh, biosynthesis of the first group, the simplest one, which we called it the monoterpenes. Again, Bendekrak, monoterpenes, thin carbons, two isoprene units, two isoprene units. Look at this compound. For the first time, you may see it as it is complicated. This or this and this. Let us understand the structure to see from where this compound came. Intabih, huh? This is. The color is changed. Again, I repeat. This is isoprene unit. One, one, tail, head. We agreed on this machine. We agreed on this machine. We agreed on this machine. This is the other unit. This is tail. Oh, this is what? Head. This one unit, one unit. Rabatu Badum by what? Head to check. That's all. Fadali. Fadali. Lo Hakena and no, the three carbons here head will one carbon here ill tail will la. Il age? Um, a tail will head low in her macusin. Hekasah will la. Can you get a macusin? No. No. With the semi high, it's semi high tail with semi high head. This is what you mean? ولا شيء انا هاي انا مخترع الكويه مشان اسهله عليك بنتي اه اوكي سمي هاي سمي هاي علي وسمي هاي فتحيه زين از يو لايك مش مهم يعني هاي ذيس از نوت ساينس اه ات از اي واي تو اكسبلين ات فور يو يعني يو كان فايند جود كويشن ببوكس ولا بهاي مسمي لك هاي هاي هيد وهاي تيل ما بيهمني المهم انه انا بس امسكك من ايدك عشان تفهمي تفهمي سميهم زي ما بدك ما في اه طبعا ما في مشكله خلاص انت ما دام فاهمه ما دام تسالي هذا السؤال بهاي العمق معناته انت خلاص فاهمه ما عندي اي مشكله سمي اللي بدك اياه كلير يعني الان انا زميلتك بتسال اني بقدر اسمي هاي تيل وهاي هيد مثلا اعكسهم سمي زي ما بدك المهم انك انت دائما ابدا تربط لي ايش هيد تو تيل تيل تو هيد نوت هيد تو هيد اند نوت تيل تو تيل سو ذيس از ذا فيرست يونت از يو سي this is the second unit. And lock here. The attachment happened where? Here. Don't lock here. Ah, uh, This is not of our work now. This is closing. Will occur later on. Like the double bond. The most important that these are what? Attached. Look at the second example. This is head and this is tail. And this is the attachment. I don't care about this. This is not of my work, not of the isoprene unit. Look at the third one. This is the first one, and this is the second one. Head to tail. Attachment. Now, the addition of this function group or bridging between these two carbons, it is something later. Later. We have some compounds without bridging and some compounds with bridging, closing. 
cyclization we will call it later on this is other thing which will occur depending on the uh, plant and this is which give uh, the variety for the uh, clear how the two units are uh, attached are uh, attached later on the plant will close it or not close it the addition of oh this is the menthol which is found in the mint and so on you are looking for what the secondary metabolites the active constituent the aroma this is the method okay this is the citral in the lemon grass mainly it is found also in many citrus uh, fruit responsible msic portocale or lemone try to smell it and you will smell the characteristic either this is the citral <coughs> is uh, important if i may philandrin eucalyptus uh, and so on responsible for the characteristic other of each one of uh, them look all of them th these three components they are monoterpenes but no one is similar to the other neither in its characteristic nor in its pharmacological activity and physical characteristic like other and uh, so on and most of the perfume manufacturing based on the mixing of these different components of the volatile oil in different ratios and this is will give you different uh, other and different uh, generic uh, names clear the monoterpenes this is again to show you if we go to the sesquiterpene sesquiterpene 15 carbons this is a re uh, representative of it it is called alpha selenine it is found in the celery uh, plant the crops okay if you look at it for the first time you will see that it is complicated let us see three units as you see this is the first one this is the second one and this is the third one head to tail this and here head to tail that's it i don't mind about this uh, again neither this these are something which came later on so three units of the isoprene now attach them head to tail or tail uh, to head to give us the sesqui uh, terpenes this is qui terpenes this example of diterpenes diterpenes 20 carbon for isoprene units an example of the diterpene is vitamin a vitamin a if you understand and follow me i told you that the tetraterpenoids which are consist of 40 carbons responsible for the coloration of carotene which is found in the carrot and because of this we claim that the carrot is good for the vision no because what because it con contains the precursor of vitamin d 40 carbons divided splitting to two units will give me 20 which is vitamin look at the shift relationship between uh, them between vitamin a and the uh, carotene anyway this is uh, vitamin a consists of four isoprene units let us see these four isoprene uh, unit as you see this is the first unit this is the second the third and the fourth <coughs> this is will be attached head to tail okay head to tail head to tail then طبعاً, the closing and so on it will occur uh, later uh, on triterpenes triterpenes six units of the isoprene 30 carbons here we have this compound this compound is called squalene 
squalene, which is found in the uh, chart liver oil, uh, usually it is the precursor into the it is the precursor for the uh, biosynthesis of cholesterol in our body. And the cholesterol is the precursor of biosynthesis of all the steroids, sex hormones, bile acids, and so forth. So this compound is uh, very important from this point of uh, view. Now it is available, the uh, squalene in uh, many of anti-wrinkle, anti-cellulite uh, creams which are uh, used to get rid of the cellulite and uh, wrinkle because it uh, uh, in the uh, skin <coughs> will be uh, convert to uh, cholesterol and the cholesterol back on skin cholesterol, not the blood cholesterol. Uh, okay, responsible for the uh, smooth uh, touch of the uh, skin. El, uh, the uh, squalene or the triterpene consists of six units of the isoprene. This is the first unit here, head to tail, layer alone, can, uh, head to tail. The second unit, again, head to tail. The fourth unit, tail to head, and here, tail to head. If we look here and we face this exception only in the triterpene, in the triterpene, at unit three and unit four, okay, the attachment between the two isoprene unit is head to head, as you see, and not head uh, to tail, and not head, head to tail. This is the only exception that we face in nature, and we can explain why the plant do uh, this. Usually, usually, the squalene, the squalene, will not remain open chain, as you see. Uh, so after the biosynthesis of the squalene, the squalene will not remain open. It must be cyclized. If the attachment between unit three and unit four is head to tail, this will make the structure very rigid and it will not be able to be cyclized. And because of this, because of this, usually only at this point, the two units, unit three and unit four, or the two units, the uh, isoprene units, are attached head uh, to head or tail to tail. Uh, and uh, it is exception from uh, the rule of the isoprene unit to produce this important, very important, starting material for the uh, biosynthesis of all the uh, steroids starting from the uh, cholesterol. And this is explain why many cosmetic preparation, anti-wrinkles, anti-cellulite, anti-wrinkle preparation, read. Now, most of the recent preparations found in the market containing the uh, squalene, because it is very important from this, point of view. Tetraterpenes, tetraterpenes, how many carbons? 40. How many units? Eight. They, they, they will come back uh, uh, to the uh, rule, head to tail, head to tail, head to tail, head to tail. Top. What about the polyterpenes? 100, 1,000, 1 million unit of uh, isoprene, head to tail, head to tail, head to tail. Uh, so we just see this exception here in the case of what? In the case of the uh, tri uh, terpenes, of the tri terpenes. I think this example uh, gave us an idea about uh, the different important group of uh, the uh, terpenes and how the plant uh, biosynthesizes them. Now the question is, Okay, now we understood 
I think the pathway, the value net, the building block, isoprene unit. But what about the construction mechanism? What about what? The construction mechanism. Suppose that I have two isoprene units. This is one and this is two. And I put them here together. The reaction will okay? Sure, no. So the plant needs construction mechanism for the attachment between the two isoprene uh, units. And in this case, in this case, it is just a question. This is uh, of changing the name of uh, the isoprene unit. Instead of calling this isoprene pyrophosphate, I will call it isopentenyl pyrophosphate isopentenyl pyrophosphate in order to make you i didn't do any uh, change i change the name of the uh, of the uh, isoprene uh, unit to make you understand the mechanism of action how the plant can make the uh, uh, reaction, the biosynthetic process between two units of the uh, isoprene. So we will call the first one isopentyl, isopentyl pyrophosphate, IPP. Okay, yes. It is isoprene, huh? pyrophosphate. We change nothing. Mariana, she. <clears throat> okay, again, this is the isopentyl pyrophosphate, like it like this or this. The pyrophosphate here is very important as a source of energy. This is from one hand to accomplish the reaction. Otherwise, no reaction will occur between two isoprene units. And later on, we will see that the pyrophosphate group represents a good leaving group, a good uh, leaving uh, uh, group from the uh, uh, plant. The second unit, the second unit, okay, the same. It is isoprene unit, but we will call it dimethyl allyl pyrophosphate. Dimethyl allyl pyrophosphate. We didn't introduce anything, but just we utilize the chemical names that we know in order to make you under, understand the mechanism uh, of this because the isobentyl pyrophosphate is interconvertible with the uh, dimethyl allyl uh, pyrophosphate, uh, with the uh, dimethyl allyl pyrophosphate. Uh, the dimethyl allyl pyrophosphate, this pyrophosphate will represent good leaving a group and this will impart this double bond here electron density high electron density uh, okay to make nucleophilic substitution because when this will leave if this carbon will be positively charged and this will give the chance for this double of or intense double bond of electrons to attack to this to make the reaction between the isobentyl pyrophosphate and the methyl allyl uh, pyrophosphate. End of the story. This is what the plant is doing. And because of this, we change the uh, name. This is the uh, chemical reaction. Look here. This is the dimethyl allyl pyrophosphate. The pyrophosphate group here represent good leaving group, give the chance for the nucleophilic addition of this double bond, which is found in the isopentyl pyrophosphate, and this block, as I told you, I explain to give us this intermediate by carbocation, deprotonation, okay, loss of proton or the addition of OH, this will move to be double uh, bond as we know from the 
uh, organic chemistry to give us this uh, compound. Now, this is, is a monotherapy, consists of 10 carbons, as uh, you see. Now, depend on the plant. This is will represent what? God leaving group for what? The coming <coughs> isoprene uh, unit and uh, so forth. If the plant want to stop the reaction here, hydrolysis will occur. If the plant want to biosynthesize C15, for example, or C20, the plant will take two units of uh, this compound, which usually we call it geranyl uh, pyrophosphate. C10 usually is called, we called it what? Geranyl. Either the reaction will stop here, or as you like, uh, we can make hydrolysis stop geraniol. That's all. Geraniol is uh, the uh, monitor being responsible for the odor of the rose oil. Exactly words uh, of the rose oil. Now, end. If not, no hydrolysis will occur, and a new isoprene unit will come to attack this uh, position, C15, C20, or two units of C10, C20, as the plant depending on the uh, plant. Look here, for example, <coughs> the reaction will not be stopped. Now, the geranyl pyrophosphate will react with a new one. Good living group, nucleophilic attack at this positively charged uh, carbon to give you this intermediate deprotonation carbocation to give you the C15. C20, 25, 30, as you like. Continue the reaction by this simple uh, method. The uh, C15 is called usually farnesyl, this unit, farnesyl. Suppose, for example, the plant want to uh, biosynthesize uh, triterpenes, 30 carbon, the plant will utilize two farnesyl units instead of going back to uh, to add isoprene plus isoprene plus isoprene six times. No, the plant will go for two. One step, C15 plus C15, you will have C30. Uh, C20, C10 plus C10 and uh, so forth. Clear? I hope that uh, <clears throat> this is, is uh, clear how the plant can uh, make uh, these uh, uh, reactions simply between and continue with the same mechanism of action for any uh, compound that the plant want to biosynthesize, uh, that the plant want to uh, biosynthesize. Uh, Look here, addition of additional one, here C15, here C20. Another one, 25, 30, as you like. Or 220, 20 plus 20, for example, to give us tetraterpenoids, C40, and so forth. This is the way uh, uh, which the plant uh, can add, uh, modify, uh, biosynthesize. Uh, Keep in mind that all of these reactions are enzymatic reaction. Now you can ask me uh, the following question, which will make the plant to continue the reaction or the, to stop the reaction? This is, is related directly to the presence of the specific enzyme. Otherwise, the plant will not be able to biosynthesize. So because of this, the pathway, the building block, or and the construction mechanism and the enzymes. The specific enzyme, all of these factors together will lead the plant to biosynthesize these uh, compounds. Now, this compound, whatever you want, C5, C10, C15, C20, C40, either they remain open chain or cyclizide, or to add any functional group, hydroxylation, OH, further oxidation, aldehyde, ketone, at the same time, 
cyclization and the addition of what? Of functional group. بصير ولا ما بصير؟ Yes. وارد ولا لا؟ Yes. It could be uh, happen. So try to put the possibility of these <coughs> together. It is endless, infinity. And because of this, this is, I hope, give you an idea that it is impossible to, to, to find two plants similar. Similar, I mean, in their content, not, uh, secondary metabolites, not in their uh, shape. And mainly took example of the plants which containing volatile oils because uh, you are dealing with them every day. No one smell like the other. So the, here, recyclization could occur, as you see, from the E to the Z double uh, bond. <coughs> Cyclization has been uh, occur. Here, the carbocation could occur either by deprotonation to give us the limonene, which is uh, the monitor being responsible for the uh, uh, other of the uh, citrus, some citrus uh, fruit, or hydrolysis by water. And the O OH here, okay, give us the alpha terbinol, which is responsible for the characteristic other of the Pinus sylvestris, a snobber uh, around you in the university, would be in JAMA. Is this compound similar to this compound? No. Absolutely no. Yeah, Dr. Mahomet, you mean the same issue? Abadan, la akhir la hada hor. Zayek into akhuk. You are not similar. With Tali, this is again and again give you other example. In some cases, in some cases, bicyclization could occur instead of one cycle, bicyclic. As you see, this is one cycle, and this is the second cycle, like the alpha pinene and beta pinene, sugar sunobar. Ah. Uh? The characteristic other and taste responsible of the presence of these uh, compound alpha pinene and beta pinene it is bicyclic two cyclic even they came from what from look the same starting uh, compound and uh, so forth can uh, at the same time cyclization occur with the addition of a function group sure bicyclic with the addition of any functional group yes and this is the possibility and we will see uh, tomorrow inshallah that hundreds of these uh, components mainly when, whenever we are talking about the uh, monoterpenes when we are talking about the monoterpenes and no one is similar to the other one either in its chemical properties physical properties or even pharmacological uh, properties just because of these a slight uh, modification of these uh, components. I hope that uh, it is uh, clear. I tried uh, my best to make it simple for you, to simplify uh, the issue, which is not complicated, but as you see, now I I'm sure that we understood the main concept of the uh, biosynthesis of the uh, terpenes and how the plant can building up these complex structure. If we look at them as such, we will see that they are complicated. But if we try to understand from where they came, I think uh, they will become uh, easy and <clears throat> we can deal with them uh, easier than uh, before. By this, the lecture has been finished. Fee, any question? I saw I. Ma had a use al abadan kulum of whom? Aya tuka? Tuka mana will a wenek? Shmana tuka? Wala sara? مش غير يوسف والله بهالصف ولا بنعطيك جائزه يوسف باخر الفصل لا دكتور معي معي مين معي ساره ايه
آية آية بدك تسألي آية فهم أنا كله تمام يس تمام I hope so إن شاء الله يا رب إن شاء الله طيب خلاص إذا ما في أي سؤال آه تفضل شرف لا لا بس صدقت علي قبل شوي فكرت في سارة ثانية لا بس بدي أسمع صوتك الشجي يعني ما بدي شيء يعني بس بدي أشوف يعني موجودين يعني بس إنه إذا في أي سؤال ما في أي سؤال كله تمام إن شاء الله يا رب يا رب أي هوب بكرة بالامتحان نصير نلخم ونصير نفعفط وهي الأسئلة بتكون شو اسمه زي طبعا التوجيه هذول اللي بيلاخموا مش هيك بدنا نمشي هيك معكم سياسة التوجيه والله عجبتني أنا بتعرفوا عجبتني هاي الأسئلة اللي بيجيبوها والله جايبين بالأسئلة بالكيمياء يعني كنت بقرأ فيها إشي يعني رائع بصراحة يعني أقول لكم فرانكلي يعني استمتعت وأنا بقرأ بالأسئلة بمزح أنا ما دخلنا عسارة مش تزعل مني إذا ما في أي سؤال الله يعطيكم العافية ومنشوفكوا بكرة إن شاء الله رزان بدك تسألي حدا رفع إيده تفضلي حطيت حضور ما بعرف إذا عمل سبميت ولا لا حطيت أكثر من مرة مش مشكلة يعني أنا ما راح أحاسبك إذا مرة واحدة غبتي ولا مرتين يعني مش مش هاي قضيتي يعني أنا قضيتي يعني إنه واحد ما يتعمد يغيب يغيب لنص الفصل عن سوء بهاي الحالة ممكن إني أنا أتصرف تصرف أما مش والله واحدة بلس ولا ماينس دونت وري يعني أباوت ذيس ما ما تقلقوا يعني على على هاي الشغلة طيب إذا ما في أي سؤال الله يعطيكم العافية ونستودعكم السلام إن شاء الله باي باي